To be honest though, having a child hasn't really inspired me to acts of self-sacrifice in the service of abstract and doubtful goals. Rather the opposite. I've had to start thinking about schools, healthcare, housing, and investment in whole new ways. I feel a deep obligation to provide for my child's future within the constraints of contemporary American society, which demands making some kind of uneasy peace with America's hierarchical, racist, and individualist culture. This is how young radicals become middle-aged liberal hypocrites. My love for my daughter is overwhelming and irrational, and consumer capitalism exploits that every day by whispering, screaming in my ear that if I don't do everything I can to make sure my child has more than yours, more whatever, the best whatever, then she's going to fall behind. That if I don't push her, push her to learn her alphabet before the other kids, she'll never pass the tests to get into the prestige kindergarten, which means she'll never get into college and she'll wind up wasting her life as a checker in a grocery store. That if I don't buy her the expensive wooden skill building puzzle or the organi organic kale avocado puree, then I'm condemning her to a slippery slope of disappointment, failure, and drug addiction. The immense, the immense engines of capital, I have learned, possess a formidable array of forces that only activate once you've had a child, and then they fall on you with the force of a thousand suns. It takes real effort to remember that my daughter's fate is not hers alone, but shared, inexorably, inevitably, despite the fact that the rich will be able to cope with climate change better than the poor for a while. Money means you can flee so you don't get stuck in the superdome. Money means access to institutional and governmental resources hidden from the poor behind complex, unwelcoming bureaucracies. Money means you can prep for disasters with insurance, kitted out, go bags, and second homes. Money means you can rebuild. But money won't stop the seas from rising or the wind from blowing. Money won't save the Arctic and it won't save Miami. And once the system starts falling apart, all those ones and zeros in your bank account will evaporate and all the gold you've carefully hidden for the end times will be revealed for what it is, a not especially useful yellow rock. <laughs>